Welcome, I'm Andres Mecha, a New Jersey immigration attorney with offices in Long Branch and Lakewood. Today, USCIS is publishing their final rules for what they are now calling the Provisional Unlawful Presence Waiver. I just finished a, phone, a teleconference with DHS Director Mallorca and a representative of the Department of State and I, I couldn't wait to talk to you about it. So in, in this video series, I'm going to describe to you what the program is, what the requirements are, and I'm going to define some of the terms so that you understand what this program actually is. So come on, let's get to it. Alright, today I want to talk to you about when are you not eligible for the Provisional Unlawful Presence Waiver. Okay. There's a couple of circumstances that USCIS has told us categorically you will not qualify. Um, one of those obviously is if you don't meet the requirements that we previously discussed um, in, in an earlier video. But in addition, if you have a pending I-485, which is an application for adjustment of status, uh, you do not qualify for this program. But frankly, you don't need this program if you qualify for adjustment of status. Now, here's an important one. If you are in removal proceedings currently, you cannot apply for this program unless ICE agrees to administratively close your case. And at the time of your filing, the removal proceeding has not been recalendered. What that means is you need ICE's agreement to close the, your removal hearings before.